Hello, good day. It is Monday, July 17th, 2023. This is one of the biggest and most powerful day of the year as the Cancer New Moon meets up with the Sun in Cancer. So all Cancerian themes having to do with nurturing and emotional healing and stability, emotional stability are all up for review. We are here being asked by the cosmic energies to hone in on ourselves, on what we need as an individual in order to be strong and able to help other people when it is needed. We can't help others unless we help ourselves first. So this theme of self-nurturing, of recognizing time outs and being at home and being in your own space, in your own bed, in your own comfort zone, eating your comfort foods. These are the things we're talking about with this new moon. And this is the intention for the next month until the Leo new moon that occurs on August 20th. So as of right now, all the themes are based on our home and what matters to us, okay? And so with this happening all over the planet, we will all be wanting to be with the people that we love and can trust and know that they are there for us and they are stable and they are always there. They may not be perfect, but they're the people we engage with on a daily basis and we feed off each other's energy. As they like to say, I can't remember who said this, but it was a Virgo who said that you and the five people you hang around with is who you are most like. So for me, that'd be the five men or males in my family. So I have a lot of male energy. So this cancer energy will be reminding me, for example, a Leo son to remember that you're the mother that you cook you take care of them they depend on you for nurturing for hugging for advice and they may not always take it your children or your friends your loved ones but you're always there for them no matter what right the downside of the cancer new moon could be that you become too focused and obsessed with nurturing things and you Keep your children inside and say, let them go outside because you're so protective. Being too protective, some people might lock their kids in their rooms, not let them out because they're so afraid of what their child might do. So these are the downsides of being a, a mom or a dad, a parent, a nurturing person, is sometimes you can take it to extremes. And the crab can be very crabby, very emotional. And you can get into deep depths of depression, so try not to do that. Don't go to those depths. Stay up in the here and now. Focus on how you can make your home more comfortable, um, how you can love yourself more, nourish yourself, find ways to take a tub bath, find ways to engage with water. And a lot of us, <laughs> that's not a problem right now with all the flooding going on. And that's not a mistake that has to do with the Cancer New Moon. And also the Cancer New Moon has initiated a new evolution of being because the same time this is occurring, maybe an hour later, um, the North Nodes will have shift from Taurus North Node into Aries North Node from Scorpio North Node into the Libra North Node. So the new moon with the nodal shifts of the moon occurring on the same day. Numerology of number eight with the one and the seven. We are being asked to focus on ourselves, the one, and then on the seven in our partnerships with others. And that's what Aries represents, the one. And then with Libra, the partnership we have with others. So until we can love ourselves with that one, we cannot become <clears throat> partners with the seven, our opposites. And together we make the number eight, which is the number of wholeness and of infinity and of being able to master what you need to master. So take it easy today, set some intentions, manifest, plant your seeds, and the full moon in Cancer of December 26, 2023 
will hopefully be the fruition of those dreams that we are manifesting today and planting the seeds of. And this can be anything that has to do that makes you feel whole, makes you feel good in your soul. Because cancer is about our emotional needs. Without our emotional needs, we do not know who we are. We become toxic if we cannot love ourselves. And then we cannot give love to others also if we do not love ourselves. So remember that and don't fight that need to have a time out and say no to people. No, I can't do that. No, I can't. I don't have the time. No, I don't have the money. And sometimes for some of us, it's difficult to say no when people are asking you for help. But you can't help them if your gas tank is not full, if your battery is not charged up. And by Thursday, the Cancer Sun will be making some moves also. And the Cancer Sun will be meeting up with Neptune. And Cancer theme is the whole week here. With Cancer meeting up with Neptune, two watery entities and Neptune rules over the moon this is going to be a very introspective spiritual personal time for all of us so really look at yourself don't hate yourself understand that everyone is a balance of good and bad of war and peace of death and birth all of us hold all those polarities within us and the nodal destiny of the moon shows us our shared destiny. But destiny merely means do you choose a path that you feel is right for you. That's your free will to choose the destiny that the cosmos is presenting you with. Each of us are unique. Each of us are different planets ruling over different houses of our charts. So it hits everyone differently. If you are within three or two years of birth within someone, a lot of times you'll share the nodal access of destiny. And again, you won't be doing the same things. You might be doing similar things, but not exactly the same because we all have our own unique patterns that we have. And the cosmos is showing us a map, a way we can go. Are you going to take this exit? Will you take the next exit? And again, that is based on your preference, your specific needs, what your soul is here to engage in in this lifetime in order to really understand what being a human being is like. You're going to go through all these different experiences and sometimes it may seem like people don't understand you and so you might have a different path than other people but it doesn't mean that you can't be friends it's just that you have a different path and a lot of times those disagreements of the soul will occur because some people are moving on in their soul development while others are moving on their practical developments and that's what maybe they're here to do if they're an earth sign they may be here to do that and if you're air sign, you are here to communicate. And if you're here as a fire sign, you're here to be the spark of energy that's going on and how you use that energy like the phoenix going through the fire and coming out a new person. So Aries North Node shift today will be bringing that on in tandem with the Cancer New Moon. Really about individual self-love, ask people what you need with the libra south node if you need a hug ask for a hug if you need someone to just help you through your day do that so in learning what you need from yourself you can also start to see what you may need from other people so this takes a lot of deep reflection a lot of digging up things you may not want to recognize about yourself but it is there so i wish you well I will be here tomorrow for the weekly podcast and this here is a nice little talk for you just for today because it is going to start to feel very challenging as the sun in cancer forms a cardinal grand cross in the universe and I will talk about that more tomorrow okay peace I appreciate you 
Make sure you meditate, even if it's just for five minutes. Please take time out of your day to acknowledge your spiritual growth. Okay, I appreciate you and I will see you soon. Bye. Peace.